Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Virgo. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Virgo, I've done your reading today with the Mystical Shaman, blended with the Good Tarot in one stack. So you will see a mix of both in your spread today. Ace of Earth and the Ancient Ones. That's an interesting split there. It's like ancient energy, but then also like fresh new energy. Ancient energy, like arriving arriving here on on the planet that's interesting maybe that's you virgo you are an ancient one maybe you don't know that maybe you don't know that yet virgo but you are like this you are the energy of the ancient ancestors and that's very much maybe part of interesting because the magician comes under the ace of earth talking about manifestation i do feel like we're really wanting to talk about your manifestation here today and then this ace of earth brings in purpose right so this is this is really clarifying actually because i feel like your reading is really talking about kind of you know it's almost like that's exactly what you're looking for is the discovery of your ancient energy in order to kind of include it in the work that you're doing and the manifestations that you're, you know, your work. I want to say your work. Um, because it feels to me like this Virgo reading is very much tied to the last Virgo reading. I'm not sure a dream card is appropriate for you today. There's just a big mess right now. And then there's a hair in the middle of them. My hair is so long I can't shuffle them without getting hair in them. Oh, I'm going to do that one more time. So Virgo, the last reading that was called Who's Driving was all about you, um, you know, working really hard at something, being very invested in something and feeling like it was right at this breakthrough point, but then somebody in your life was trying to pull you out of it and you felt like it was exactly the wrong time to be putting that work down because it was like, no, it's like, it's finally, it's finally coming to fruition. I can't leave it now. It feels a little bit like some of that energy from that reading is carrying over into this reading. So I made it's like, it almost feels like a continuation of that storyline for some of you. So it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be connected at all, but they, but both readings feel very much kind of related to work or could just be manifestation. You could, you could apply manifestation to anything in your life that you're trying to create, trying to bring to fruition, right? So you seem to be at a real kind of threshold point in your, in your creation, in your, in what it is that you're creating. So let's see what the dream cards have to say for Virgo today. Overall energy for Virgo. Musical instruments. <laughs> I love this one because it always makes me think of Chris Martin in um, Sky Full of Stars. Have you ever seen that video? No, it's not Sky Full of Stars, is it? Maybe it is. It's the one, he's like a one-man band walking through town with all the instruments on him, which is amazing. One-man band, Virgo, you're, you are a one-man, a one-person band. You, you're playing, you need to play all the rules, perhaps. So that's fascinating. So, clearly you're exceptionally competent, Virgo. We're beginning here with the Indian cross. So this is what I'm saying. You are at a threshold point. The Indian cross talks to me about like you've completed every step of, of a particular journey. You've finished a chapter. It's now time to upgrade, right? It's not, it's, it's kind of talking about like not necessarily like turning a corner and starting a whole new thing, but kind of taking what you're doing and really up leveling it, right? Like bringing it up to the next level. So that's, that's amazing and interesting. But what's, what's fascinating here is it's coming out with the two of cups. So for some of you, I want to say that this could actually be talking about like bringing your relationship to the next level because this Indian cross was looking a little bit to me like a ring today, like a wedding ring. And, and I never get this stuff. So for some of you, for a few of you, maybe just for one of you, this could be talking about it's time to propose Virgo, <laughs> two of cups. It's time to bring this two of cups relationship up to the next level. That's what I'm saying. It's like taking what you're already so invested in just like that last Virgo reading, you're so invested, you're sure that it's about to bear fruit, but it's kind of like, but it's not quite yet. It's like there's this pause. So Virgo, maybe it's time for you to, to make the move, right? With the corn here as well. That's what I'm saying. It's like 
the corn talks to me about manifestation, a fully manifested situation. It's like you, like I said, you've done all the steps, you've completed all the tasks. You're, it's like you're kind of at your goal. Everything is is there in front of you, but it's like you're not gaining the benefit of it. You're not, you're not harvesting. It's because it's almost like you're waiting for that to happen. And I'm kind of getting the feeling here, Virgo, that you're meant to do that. You're meant to be the one doing the harvesting. It's like go out in the field and pick the corn. Go to your partner and propose marriage. Like you, it's kind of pushing you to act. But then there's also this amazing message here that I want to go back to that it may be time for you to kind of merge your broader self into the work that you're doing it's almost like don't ask don't wait to, for the invitation to show up in a bigger way just show up in a bigger way does that make sense you don't wait for the promotion just i don't know so queen of water it's weird how as i hold up this queen of water it gets dark in the room the, the sun kind of went down which is really interesting because I was actually going to say that this queen of water is you maybe like actually setting time aside to meditate and contemplate and go inward about this situation because I feel like it's been not moving for some time now and you're getting like you're starting to get that impulse like I'm going to need to do something here. The other players in this situation are not stepping up. It's kind of like you feel like the ball is not in your court. You've done, you've fulfilled your requirements. You've showed up, you've done the work, you've invested, and the ball is not in your court. So you're waiting, you're waiting, right? And so, but it's not, nothing is coming. So you're in this queen of, of water energy, or maybe this is the advice here. No, I believe that you're, that you are, doing this because Virgo I feel this real kind of is it anxiousness eagerness it's a real eagerness on your part to kind of like get things moving like because you're excited I feel like you're excited I feel like you're really passionate very invested in whatever this is and you're excited to keep it going keep the ball rolling right and it's kind of like everybody else is dropping the ball and you're just waiting like what are we doing here what's going on like what's next let's make something happen here it's like you're you're the only one doing all the work you're the only one trying to push this forward. So you're almost kind of pushed into this like forced hermit mode in a sense where you're you're like, okay, well, clearly nobody else is going to move this forward. What can I do here? And so you're in you're in contemplation about what that could be. It's interesting. There's all sorts of stuff happening at the top of this card that's stepping forward. It's like this really lacy kind of, you can't see it. It's too subtle. It's interesting because it's kind of it's kind of pulling me up. Usually I get like stuff about psyche and consciousness kind of comes from behind, but this is like this is pulling me up. It's pulling you up, which is interesting because I would want to say that it's coming in like a download, but it actually feels like you're being pulled up, which is amazing because that's what I see with this Andean cross. It's that stepping up, right? It's like up leveling. So is if you take time to meditate on this, I feel like it's almost like there's this energy pulling you up. It's pulling you up. So, and then amazingly, the six of air and the lightning card coming next. It's like you're being pulled up into this energy, which is which is gorgeous because the six of air is my uh, timeline card, right? It's, it talks about getting a glimpse of, of other potential timelines, which is amazing. Okay, so Virgo, it's like you're in this manifestation, your life, right? Your everyday life. You sit in you sit in meditation and you're getting pulled up and getting glimpses of other timelines. It's almost like parallel lives. It's almost like you're getting a glimpse of yourself in another parallel version of what you're doing. This is amazing because I was talking about how I've heard about that we may be moving as a collective, moving into the ability to do this more consciously. It's like something that we used to do subconsciously or in our dream state, but may not be able to remember consciously. But this has come up. This is the second time this has come up now about consciously tapping into the ability to kind of peer into 
other timelines, other potentials, like parallel versions of what you're doing to see how it would like play out if you had made different choices or if you decide to make a certain choice, how that will play out and kind of getting a view of seeing how it would play out, right? With the lightning card too, right? So it's, it's just like this, it's like you're receiving all of this information about options, about how you could move forward. But it feels very much like it's very much connected to what you're doing, but it's kind of showing you like a whole new way of going about it. So the Empress coming next with this blade, amazing, because this Empress is pretty much the corn energy, right? It's talking about you being the creator of your life. It's, it's completely, it's, it's basically talking to me about like, there's nowhere left to go in the situation that you're in. It's kind of reached its maximum potential, maximum growth potential, right? It isn't, it has nowhere else to left to go. So you're asking what's next and what you're receiving is kind of like blowing your mind is what I want to say, because this blade, it looks like a, a, a like a giant eye, right? It's like this eye opening experience, but, but it's connected to what you're doing, this eye opening information or experience connected to what you're doing because you're asking. That's the whole thing in the Leo reading yesterday, in the Leo reading, they were kind of stuck in a situation that was very unpleasant and, but they weren't quite doing, they might not have been doing this step. So it's like here you are Virgo asking and because you're asking, it's like you're getting a lot of information and it's kind of, it almost with this card here, it's almost feeling a little bit overwhelming, almost like there's too much, there's too much possibility or it's, it's opening your eyes to maybe the fact that, Maybe you didn't realize that this had nowhere else to go. And that's kind of a startling realization for you. There's nowhere left to go in this cornfield. You must like leave the cornfield or take it upon yourself to alter it in some way. It feels like it's all falling to you, Virgo. And it's kind of an epiphany moment, an eye-opening, awakening moment for you to go, oh, okay. I need to change this. I need to change this with the strength card coming out next. Both of these cards are kind of, I mean, it's it's not really fear. It's not quite fear, but it is this kind of like a startle reflex. You're like, oh, that's gonna require, that's gonna require a lot from me, right? It's a it's a bit of a, a step backwards, like. You weren't expecting to receive this kind of information. You weren't expecting it to, to fall to you. You know what this is? This is the ball coming back to your side. This is the ball is now in your court and you're like, oh, okay. Well, I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting to, I wasn't expecting this. Maybe there is a little bit of fear in it for you. It's the card, the card underneath this what is this called? Musical instruments. Joyful expression of your desire. Um, is it is a really anxiety ridden card called teeth falling out where you know, you have those dreams where you're losing your teeth and it feels it feels all really out of control. If you're having any sort of any sort of anxiety, any sort of fear being triggered about this situation, I think I think it's more just you weren't expecting it's like this is news to you, right? The blade is is like the ace of swords. This is news, a completely new idea opening up to you and it has to do with I can do this. I can it's up to me. It's up to me. It's like you were waiting for your ships to come in and now you realize like you have to actually just you have to drive, Virgo. You're the driver. So, and what's interesting is the water and the moon card coming out next. This is really wanting to emphasize your intuition. Your intuition. This card here, it's almost like, Virgo, your situation that you are so invested in kind of maybe has stalled out intentionally, like the, the universe, your higher self, almost holding you in a, 
a bit of a stagnant energy in order to, because it's like, because then you're going to go inward and plug into your intuition. And that's what's happening here. It's almost like the universe forcing your hand to become more empowered. But it has, it's like a lot of emphasis on doing it through your intuition and plugging into this, like opening up this ability to see other versions of things. It's amazing to me how this card has become this really holographic image to me. As I was waving my hand over it like that, it was like, go like this, it's one timeline, go like this, it's another timeline. It's like, it's, it's like shifting through timelines. You almost have the ability to just like scroll through timeline options. And that's what you're gaining here is this ability to scroll through almost like futures, scroll through your future timelines and kind of see where it's going and how it's going to play out before you actually have to make a decision. So maybe this is something that you don't realize that you can do. And the cards here are kind of encouraging you to try it out, Virgo. Try it out. If you're sitting in, if you're sitting in a stagnant energy and you're wanting to know what to do next, the next up leveling available to you is, is this process. Sit with the intention of receiving vision of possible outcomes, like different outcomes of the same situation, different parallel versions of the same situation. So, and then the five of air coming next, there's this interesting message coming through the five of air for me today about you um, having, needing to, this is you taking action in a sense. This is you kind of, <clears throat> it's almost like, this could be what the fear, this could be what the little bit of fear and anxiety may be triggering here. There seems to be a requirement on your part because the ball is back in your court where you didn't expect it to be that you now have to do something or say something or make yourself visible in some way that you weren't anticipating. Because I see this card today as you kind of stepping out of the crowd and voicing some kind of information that you're receiving here about where this could go, right? Like I said, it could just be this. It could just be you stepping forward and proposing to your partner, proposing something at work. It's like you were waiting for an opportunity and it's not happening. So just like go in there and propose that opportunity to the team, right? So this is like you kind of putting yourself out there, putting yourself out there and it doesn't really feel very comfortable. That's what the five of airs, the five of swords energy is coming in. It's like, it's got a lot of energy of like self-consciousness, like I suddenly being on you and being really self-conscious about that. Because like I said, it feels like the tables are turning, right? It's like the ball is back in your court. The tables are turning. It's all on you now. It's like all this pressure on you to push this into the next phase of evolution or manifestation into the next expansion. It's like it's not going to expand out of this energy unless you you do it. And then Myst Mystical Shaman ending the reading here. This talks about visionary. And I want to bring it back to the Ancient One's energy. This is really interesting. Ancient One's energy and then the Ten of Cups is underneath that. So this is just happiness, like really giddy happiness. So, Virgo, it seems to be wanting to encourage your awareness of your visionary abilities. It's, it's like believe in your own intuitive ability to see the best course of action to lead to the timeline that you're desiring. It's like you have the ability to do all of this. This feel, it's like there's there's kind of two things going on in your reading. There's all this like real world, this is your real practical life and what are you going to do about it? And then there's all this like, go to the other side. Go to the other side, Virgo. Practice tuning into, tuning into other dimensions. And 
It's like, this is where it might get really weird for you is like, use the information that you're gathering there to make proposals to the real practical situations in your life in order to bring them to the next level. It's like, that's kind of what's, what we're talking about here. That's what's wanting to come in for you is this kind of ancient mystical shaman energy and ability that you have is like, bring that into your manifestation. Add this aspect of yourself into this energy here. That's what is required to kind of up level it, to bring it up to the next phase of, to the into the next chapter for you. So I think that's pretty clear. It's like you can't, Virgos, don't just sit there and wait for an opportunity come to, to come to you. Kind of mine the field of possibilities and and hone your visionary abilities and then go in there and say, this is what I've come to know. This is what I've seen. This is this is my idea that came to me. What do you guys think about it? I feel like that's being encouraged because they're going to think it's amazing is what I, what, what I want to believe. I mean, this is a really kind of inspirational, motivational type of energy. Everybody loves this energy, right? So it's like, it's like you got to be the cheerleader, Virgo. You got to go in there and kind of get everybody on board is what it feels like. So I'm going to continue to pull cards, create an extended. If you're interested to see where this goes, link is in the description box. If not, I'll see you next time, Virgo. Thanks. Bye.